Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the PEMCO number 1546G. This is a saddle type threshold, and this is just a six inch sample. It's literally just a six inch sample of the threshold, and let's remove it from the packaging and get a closer look at it. So the 1546 threshold, this is a 1546. This is a saddle type threshold. If you use your imagination, you can see why they call it a saddle type threshold. And it is um, this profile, the dimensional properties, are representative of the part number, 1546. Now, the G in the part number means gold anodized. This is going to be available in A finish, which is just simply a mill aluminum finish, a D finish, which is a dark bronze, and then the G finish, which, it's go which is gold anodized. Okay. Now, there's an image below this video showing the important dimensional properties of this threshold, and let's go over it now. Six inch wide, that is part of the uh, part number. And then this is a half of an inch tall threshold. And six by half is very common. There's no, no question that those two dimensions are very compatible with lots of installations, whether you're dealing with standard hollow metal jam depths, aluminum frames, a residential application. Six inches quite complementary. In my experience, a smooth top threshold like this is just simply less common than a six by half with a fluted top. But nonetheless, there are times when a smooth top is what is uh, required. It might be in an application where you have a door bottom that really works best with a smooth top sort of threshold. Uh, you know, something like a neoprene insert, uh, something that is a smooth sort of bottom. Those smooth bottom uh, automatic door bottoms or door bottoms in, in general generally don't perform very well on a fluted top surface. So a smooth top would be appropriate for those sorts of applications. It might also just be simply aesthetic. Uh, you know, I, I'm not a, I, I would, I would suggest against using a smooth top. It's actually quite um, interesting, maybe even alarming. The first time that you walk over a smooth top and you realize, wow, my foot just slipped. Um, <laughs> and I've had that experience in the past where you don't really have that as much with something fluted. So be sure that a smooth top threshold is appropriate for your application. Uh, available in not only those other finishes, the mill aluminum finish, the dark bronze, and of course gold anodized. Um, also available in several different lengths in the website, everywhere from two foot to eight foot. Custom lengths longer than that can certainly be accommodated uh, if necessary. If you have need for a custom length, by all means let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and simply indicate in the comment field what length you'd like for us to cut the material back to. Now the reasoning is this, if this was the genuine article, let's say four foot long, you'd have a countersink about here from the end, but if you had to take that four foot piece and cut it down to say 42 inch, you'd eliminate that first countersink that would be there. You'd be stuck drilling another hole and then countersinking it after you cut it. That may not be ideal for your application. There's reasons uh, where it certainly may be no problem at all to cut this down. There might be instances where it's not really easy to cut it down. You might not have a saw that will give you a clean enough edge. You may not have the ability to uh, countersink the hole. And the hole is, the need for it to be countersunk is crucial because it's going to come with a flathead screw and you really want that flathead screw to be flush with the face, doing the best job that it can to keep the threshold in place. I've seen countless failed installations because simply a round hole was drilled and time wasn't taken to countersink it. I like the uh, a lot of the Pemco thresholds because they feature these serrations, not really serrations, but just grooves that are down here at the tip of my index fingers, right here. Those grooves really help the threshold resist all those lateral forces of traffic going over it constantly, um, allowing it to better stay in place. Anyway, if you have need for a custom length, by all means let us know. Just order the next longest piece or pieces and simply indicate in the comment field what net length you'd like us to cut the material back to and that's how we'll ship it out. There is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up the full line Pemco product catalog and review all things weather stripping from Pemco, not only thresholds like the 1546G, uh, but door sweeps, perimeter gasketing, material made of aluminum like this, 
stainless steel, architectural bronze as well. Any questions on the Pemco 1546G saddle type threshold or any other Pemco product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.